Danielle Kalanachi, Head of Jeep Design Enlarged Europe. Welcome everybody. So today I'm here to talk about the design presentation of the Jeep Avenger. But before to deep dive into it, I would like to give you and to refresh your mind of what we said uh, last year. So you remember last year we presented this vehicle and the Jeep Avenger is a new Jeep nameplate. So it is the most compact vehicle ever made in the Jeep brand in 83 years. It's a B SUV short segment and uh, that are the main core value that we had from the very beginning in the briefing that we received. Cool, technological, because the Jeep Avenger was the first electric vehicle in the history of Jeep. Passion, that is connected with the brand itself. Young, compact, and fun. And today, I will give you the recipe to make it much more fun with a 4x4 engine. So this is the Jeep Avenger front-wheel drive in a nutshell. So basically, I would like to explain this because when the whole program started, the idea in the design team, in the engineering team, and the brand team was to create this thing, to have the 4x4. So the very first thing that we asked to the engineering team was to work with the shortest overhang possible to give the perfect approach angle. We give to this vehicle and we ask to this vehicle to have the biggest overall diameter tire possible on this platform, to have the highest ground clearance possible, the breakover angle and the departure angle required by Jeep brand. But right now, I would like to show you this presentation that will help us to understand what we changed to transform the Jeep Avenger front wheel drive in the Avenger 4x4. So we created for you this Jeep mounting kit to follow step by step what we did. So the very first technical requirement was to have a 17 inch alloy black finished wheel that will give us the possibility to have the higher shoulder possible to this vehicle, to have the best handling in the off-road track. Not only we raise the vehicle reaching 210 meters from the ground. And for sure, that's a 4x4. So we decided to have this rear electric engine. So that's a question for you. When you are in the outdoor, when you're using the car in the off-road, what, what, what you want from en your engine? You want torque and torque on demand. And this is the best thing that an electric engine can do. Not only, it is also a light solution because having the rear electric engine, we are going to avoid any extra structure as the prop shaft. Let's see what we did on the front end. We will have a molding color mask with seven slot. What means molding color? It means that the, first, the color that you see in the first surfaces of this piece, it is the same color if you cut into piece the object. So basically, you are free to scratch it without seeing any scratch in the future. Then we'll have a completely new bumper. What we did with this bumper? The cladding is higher and more protruded. So we are going to protect better the body, but also the number plate. And if you concentrate in this, in this area of the bumper, we compress this area to attack better obstacle and stones in front of you when you are going to use this vehicle outdoor. We will have an aluminum insert, again, molten color, so you can scratch it, but you won't see any scratch in the future. And coupling together the higher ground clearance with a new Y0 section, that is the section that we have in the center of the vehicle, we will have 22 degrees of approach angle and 21 degrees of breakover angle. The fog light, in comparison with the front wheel drive, are higher and more external. That will give us the possibility to have a best illumination, uh, especially when you are going to drive this vehicle in muddy and dusty road. And then again, we'll have this nice touch color. This is not only style, because if you watch the section, this element that we call uh, the bumperet are five centimeters more external in comparison with the central uh, rudder. So we are going to offer an extra protection with this uh, to the rudder when you will have some small bump in the off-road. Look the car from the side view. So as all the Jeep 4x4 lineup, the technical part of Jeep, we are going to give to our customer the anti-reflective sticker. So basically it is matte and black. So it will avoid to have any reflection in the eyes of the driver when we are going to drive this vehicle in front of the sun. And again, 
You remember last year we talked about the hyper storage on the interior. On the interior, in the front row, we can give to you 34 liters of frontal storage. Now we concentrated to have also exterior storage. So roof bars for us means uh, adventure ready. So you will be free to put on the roof whatever you want. Bicycle, roof tent, box, and whatever you want. The duck is always present in our presentation. Look the rear end of this vehicle. So we will have a new skid plate, molding color. And if, if we couple together the new section of the rear skid plate with a riser uh, ground clearance, we will have 35 degrees of departure angle. And as I used to say, you never know where a Jeep customer can find himself in the future, especially with his friend. So we will have a tow hooks always ready to recover your friends if you will be stuck in the mud. And let's talk about the interior again. With functionality in mind, we worked to upgrade the functionality of the interior. So this is the first time that we are going to introduce this extra durable material. Basically, it is a fabric with a, a polyurethane injection inside that will, will give us extra strength. It will be double durable than the normal fabric and completely washable. So for the future, no fear of mud and dust and dust in your vehicle. Again, to protect better the floor, we'll have the heavy-duty rubber mats that will protect the lower part of the vehicle. So basically, this is the recipe to make your Avenger more capable, more fun, more Avenger. I will let the stage to Marco, and thank you very much. Um, Marco Montepeloso, Product Planning Manager, Jeep Enlarged Europe. Thank you, thank you, Daniele, and hello, hello, everyone. Avenger was developed starting from the CMP Stellantis platform, but to infuse it with the appropriate brand personality, a lot of components have been adopted. The same is true for the Avenger 4xe, compared to the front-wheel drive version. Starting from the efficient and comfortable e-hybrid 48-volt solution, we have developed new rear drive line and suspension system. So let's start with propulsion, which is supplied by a front internal combustion engine, which provides traction to the front axle, a front electric motor integrated into the dual clutch transmission, and a second rear electric motor, which provides traction to the rear axle with electronically controlled split up to 50-50 that can be locked under 30 kilometers per hour. And thanks to this solution, on Avenger 4 by e there is no need for a mechanical drive shaft and transfer case. And thanks to our power looping technology, the system always guarantees all-wheel drive availability, regardless the state of charge of the 48-volt battery. When power looping takes effect, the front e-motor works as a generator and supplies directly energy to the rear e-motor. So conceived around this exclusive 4 by e technology, the new model is designed to offer more. More freedom, more fun, and more Avenger. Why more freedom? Because Avenger 4 by e like all Jeeps, gives you the freedom to go to places that others can reach. Thanks to its highly performing powertrain and to the 22.721 reducer, it provides you with the extraordinary torque of 1,900 Newton meters at rear wheels. This ensures unparalleled traction and allows you to overcome near 40% slopes on challenging terrain such as gravel, and to have 0.1 G acceleration available on 20% slopes with zero front wheel grip. Avenger 4 by uses a smart all-wheel drive system to make 4x4 available when needed without compromise on fuel efficiency. At low speed, between minus 30 kilometers per hour and plus 30 kilometers per hour, when maximum traction is needed, torque distribution on the four wheels is locked at 50-50 split. At medium speed, 30 to 90 kilometers per hour, rear axle drive is activated on demand. Mind. Even if torque is zero Newton meter, the rear motor is always connected to the rear wheels in case of sudden needs. And when all-wheel drive is requested, the torque split 
is based on actual demand, up to 50-50. At high speed, front drive is permanent, and the rear e-motor is not linked to the axle to minimize the fuel consumption. The management of traction control and the all-wheel drive system is based on the select terrain setting. The auto mode provides all-wheel drive only on demand and is perfect for relaxed everyday travel and minimum CO2 emissions. Snow allows you to, to drive safely on winter roads with enhanced stability control and the smart all-wheel drive activated. Sand and mud is designed for unsteady terrains and adopts specific gear shift, gas pedal, and traction control tuning with the smart all-wheel drive activated. And finally, sport makes you fully enjoy the strong power and torque delivery of the 4 by system with the additional contribution of the e-boost on the rear axle. Another Avenger 4 by e exclusive is the new multi-link rear suspension schemes specifically developed for Jeep and for the first time adopted here on the Stellantis CMP platform. This is a product content typical of bigger vehicles, which provides increased articulation on the rear axle and therefore more comfort on the rough road. Then, freedom is even better when it comes with fun. And fun you love here, thanks to the all-new powertrain developed for Avenger 4x8. 136 horsepower, and 230 newton meters torque from the internal combustion engine, and 21 plus 21 kilowatt power fro from the two electric motor. And thanks to this combination, Avenger 4x8 delivers 194 kilometers per hour maximum speed and zero 100 acceleration in 9.5 seconds. And the boost improves elasticity and rolling acceleration by almost 20% compared to the front-wheel drive mo model. And finally, why does all this make the 4 bay model even more Avenger? The front-wheel drive model was already best in class in capability, and the Avenger 4 bay is even better. Improved off-road angles, 10 millimeters more ground clearance, and up to 400 millimeters water fording. Avenger 4 bay pushes design for functionality even further. Standard roof bars, improve load capacity, and allow you to carry your kayak, rafting equipment everywhere. Seat material is twice more durable, totally waterproof, and protected by an easy-to-clean, anti-stain, and anti-mud solution, which is exactly what you need when you take your dog to the countryside on a rainy day. Dedicated exteriors are created to be distinctive, but also fully protected. And so are the driver and passenger, as 4 by e is a decisive uh, factor of safety in itself. On top, we also offer mud and snow tires as standard, and all-terrain tires are available for superior traction control on extreme weather. So Avenger is built around a lightweight and effective technical solution, which combines all the benefits of the hybrid 48 volt powertrain with exclusive Jeep all-wheel drive technology. Avenger 4 by e will also have a dedicated lineup uh, composed by two new trims. So starting uh, here with the, the Upland, uh, which will offer many differentiating elements uh, compared to, to the rest of the range, including, uh, for instance, the black 17 inches alloy wheels uh, with uh, mud and snow tires. Uh, uh, we have the rear tow hooks, uh, uh, the roof bars uh, th that you see there, and the high resistance uh, washable seats. On top of the Upland, we are going to offer uh, the Overland, which uh, adds uh, the full LED front and rear lights, uh, uh, a rich set of safety security features, uh, uh, the level two autonomous driving, and many other uh, that you can see over there. We also, on top of this, we are also preparing an uh, exclusive, fantastic uh, launch edition, but uh, this is uh, not for today. We are going to save that surprise for, for later in the year. We also know that Jeep is uh, a personal object, because owners want uh, really to make uh, the car sort of uh, their own. So they want uh, to make it uh, specific, they want to customize it. And that's why we decided to provide this opportunity 
to those customers, offering through our Jeep and Mopar accessory line, uh, with the calls, uh, for instance, uh, front grille, side graphics, uh, many different cover types, uh, all-terrain tires uh, for the off-roading, and much more.